Hey everybody, welcome back uh, to another Let's 3D model. And uh, in this episode or in this video, I'm gonna hope I'm hoping that I can uh, do some detailing on this microwave. So this is the basic shape, right, that we have uh, for the microwave. And you know we got the, the handle down and all that. So uh, it's time for me to start uh, adding some some love to um, to this. Whoa, what the? Well, I'm going to start adding some love here to this microwave and um, it seems like maybe that's a little bit too much love uh, so I'm going to have to bring it down to maybe two and I'll bring this to zero, um, 0 0.1 okay that might be a little bit too little so maybe I'll go 0 point say five no nope, that's a little bit too much so I'm gonna try 0 point maybe three. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and segments I have it on two. That should be fine. And uh, I'm probably gonna do the same thing for all these. Just so gonna bevel. And I'm just going to point one on that might be okay. Um, point two might be good. Yeah. So there we go. So got some of that going on. And I'm going to do the same for for this as well. Probably point two segment segment two, and <clears throat> that should look a lot better. Let's turn off wireframe here to kind of see how it looks like. So that already looks a lot better to me, at least. It gives you a little bit of some of that seam going on. Um, I mean, I can obviously push this in a little bit more to close it off to make it a nicer seam um, but this might uh, make for some cooler shadows and stuff like that so I mean damn that already it's a huge improvement from what it was before um, now I want to kind of create these kind of crevices and stuff like that inside the model um, and if you look at this model I mean it's relatively low poly still it's 500 polys um, which is relatively small or like low nowadays um, 240 is going right into this and uh, for me um, I probably want to actually bevel these uh, this edge here oh shit sorry what did I just do bevel it and I'm just gonna go like that and yeah I mean right so now it kind of gives it that little beveled edge I mean you can't even you don't even notice it that much um, so it's questionable uh, if that is even needed just because it's such a small detail I'm actually not going to do it on this because I don't know it seems pretty questionable um, whether I want to do that or not so it's such a small detail on such a small object that um, I don't think the payoff the payoff is worth it so, um, so I'm actually going to skip that um, okay, so now I, I want to do the, the the crevices thing. So um, I'm going to extrude and uh, offset this a little bit, and let's um, and let's just do. Uh, I mean, like I, I want to keep with the reference, but I also want to kind of make something that's a little bit more generic because I'm going to be using this asset in more than. Um, more than one scene I'm assuming right if I ever need uh, some more filler assets um, having a microwave is pretty handy um, so I'm gonna keep this a little bit more generic um, a little bit more safe I guess is the right word and then I'm just gonna extrude this in here and um, what I'm gonna also do is I'll I'm going to get rid of uh, the face here and uh, this way I mean you know what no it's a microwave um, hold on I'm just going to undo that I just realized you know it's a microwave um, that's fine it's a microwave so it's you're not really gonna 
ever see Hold on. it's a microwave so um i was thinking of maybe making it transparent but i was just like nah like i mean look at if you look at it inside the scene like you're not gonna see anything in there right um so i'm just gonna make it like a reflective like glass kind of material so that way it's just yeah it's about cheap efficiency and getting it done quick right i mean if i was making uh, a super hyper realistic um microwave and it's for like a render or something then sure i'll add all the extra time and polys and stuff into it but this is such a small asset it's a small asset inside uh, a level and it's not um it's not the key feature it's not it's not it's what it's not it's what is selling this scene uh, people aren't going to stare at this microwave um so it's not it's not needed to be such a high velocity or high interest point right so I, don't, I, don't, I shouldn't be spending too much of my time on making it look completely beautiful um, I'm just going to this a little more add another one there and uh, this is definitely going to cause some end gons so I need to and it's actually causing some weird things going on here so I'm just going to um, maybe not add these edges into the bevel but like that there we go yeah that's a lot better and um, what I'll do here is I will um, fraction it out a little bit more add another edge there and then from here I'll try and do this bevel and it's probably going to give me the same result to be honest I'm trying I'm thinking about it now and um, I'm trying to think if this is even worth it this extra little and I'll be honest it's not worth it so I'm just going to leave it as is right now right there we go <clears throat> So yeah, so I mean now I have this kind of like microwave thing. It's looking pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I can do here to make this look extra neat. Um, I can add maybe little small um, like rubber pieces at the bottom but no one's really ever going to see it so that's kind of like an extra detail that no one's really ever going to see um, but so yeah so I guess you know what let's just call this done right now um, uh, first things first so I'm going to group this and I'm going to go um, this is going to be microwave A right microwave A original I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to hide the original I'm going to combine it all and then um, delete this should allow me to delete the group now uh, I'm going to put this into the corner the pivot point I want to move this to zero zero I'm going to freeze transforms and um, I'm gonna automatic map it. Automatic map. And I can almost guarantee you guys, when I come back uh, a month from now, I'm gonna forget these little small things, and uh, I can almost guarantee it. All right. So uh, I have this beautiful looking. Uh, microwave export sci-fi content props I am so hungry my stomach is growling um, microwave A
go into Unreal. And it's going to want, uh, it's processing the file right now. And um, let's go and figure this out. So the microwave. So the microwave. Okay, so hold on. I have to have the snap on. Microwave. So I have a feeling now, if I move it, it's going to snap perfectly. Yeah, okay. So that was my mistake before. Was... Um, my mistake. My, my mistake was I was putting the pivot point into the center of the of the of the asset. Okay, so what I can do now is I can actually shrink this down a little bit. No, that's way too small. Um, I can shrink this down to like point. So shrink this down just a tad bit, and you know, move it over a little bit, and it'll be fine. Um, Nah, let's keep it as regular size. Keep it as regular size. Um, I'm just gonna change this back to 0.25. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do that weird material thing. Give it the material. Everything is blue. Okay, there we go. And um, let's do a quick, let's do a quick little render here. Just to kind of see how it looks. And then I think, honestly, the only thing that's really left in the scene is um, to model is uh, is the walls and the ceilings. So, um, yeah, it's, it's coming along for sure. Um, this is still looking really weird. I think it just needs a reflection volume. What happens if I do that right now? If I add a reflection volume, if I just toss that right in here. Yeah, see? Say so toss that right in here. Right inside the level, okay? If I toss reflection volume, it's gonna change everything, everything. Oh my god, look at that. It's it's turning blue because everything inside the room is blue. That is so funny. Um, yeah, I mean, just adding that reflection volume already um, makes a huge difference to uh, how this is going to look. And everything that's going to be like metal and have reflection, it's going to make a huge difference. Just adding in that uh, reflection volume. Uh, so if you guys are seeing like a weird blackness on your stuff, just adding in this uh, this simple sphere reflection capture is going to make a huge difference um, to what you guys uh, probably want on your scene. Now, um, let me see if I hide this uh, Unreal Man Scale. Um, you're going to notice that the scene's looking pretty barren. Hmm. So, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure out how to break up this here. Maybe I can make a nice enough texture or uh, floor that uh, it fixes that issue. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to figure out how we're going to break up the ceiling and the floors um, with what kind of textures and stuff like that. Obviously, the the walls or the windows I need to make some some windows here if I was smart I would have created the same sized windows so uh, let me just quickly save this and check that um, did I make the same size windows that's a good question um, did I that's uh, is that my top no that's not this is my top um, is this the same size two four two four six eight is there a way for me to it's one meter I hope it's the same size two four six eight ten twelve two four six eight ten twelve fourteen I'm so dumb. Why did I do that? Okay, so uh, let's let's fix that. <laughs> let's fix that. I mean, that's the beauty of it, right? Is I can just fix it. Uh, let's go edit. 
and I can just go one, two, there we go. So now the size should be exactly the same. So now when I create this windowsill, I can just duplicate it to this side and uh, that should fix that issue. So again, guys, lots to learn, lots to learn, uh, lots of things to practice. So, um, so yeah, I think the next video is going to be about me just kind of planning out how I'm going to break up this, uh, the floors and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, thank you guys so much.